Mr. Roberts. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very well. Thank no you. Sleep. you now then, you remember John? you're the one that stole my batteries. I was right. Say, do you remember John from a referral panel meeting? I do. I do. Excellent. I do indeed. Well, we've come down today so that John can start doing his reparation for you. Right. Um, I think we agreed ten hours at the referral panel meeting. So, okay. what jobs have you got? Right. Lined up for well, him. Well, I've got plenty lined up for you. We start by washing up some cars. A few cars to wash. And hopefully, at the end of this, you're going to learn a better way of life and learn the workings of the inside and outside workings of the garage and do something useful with your life for a change, all right? Okay, let's get this car washed. Smashing, excellent. If you use the brush, well, use whatever you want, I don't mind. But that's my car, I want it washing. And when you finish that one, I've got plenty more. Ah. Yeah. I'm afraid life's not as easy as as it uh, might seem sometimes. Sometimes we've got to do a bit of hard work. John, you don't look like you're shy of hard work at all. You're doing a very good job there. Get this bonnet clean first. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt. Alright John, when we first met and we started talking we looked at your offence, one of the things that um, became quite clear was that your friends seemed to have quite a bit of influence on you and what happens and it was your friends who had quite a bit of an influence the day that you took your batteries. So what I wanted to do today's session was to look at the people and what we're going to call your social circle. And then we're going to look at whether these people are a good influence on you, in which case we're going to draw a nice big green flag next to them, or whether you think they're a bad influence on you, we're going to draw a red flag next to them. Right. All right. So I've put you in the middle, because this is you, and this is you and your, this is the circle that comes out of you, your group of friends. So, first of all, I want you to put next to you who, who or which person has the most influence over you. And it may not just be friends, it might be family as well. What, using these? Yeah, these are, and I've got a variety of different faces here, so these faces might relate to a person you're thinking of in particular. Uh, so who has the most influence over you? Probably my mum. Your mum. Obviously she's learned that a lot. So I'll put your mum there. Okay, so we've got your mum there. You know the two, the two guys who offended with you? Whereabouts would they go closeness to you? Uh, well, they are like, well, if that's close, probably about like. They're about there. So they've got influence on you, but they seem to be quite far away. Well, yeah, but. So would you say that they have, because if that's how much influence on you, they, your mum's got lots of influence on you. So, Dexter, how does he kind of impact on you and your decisions and what you get up to? Uh, well, it's not that it like, uh, like forces me to do anything like that, but say if we're just walking like with the batteries and he goes, oh yeah, wouldn't it be funny to do that? And then you think, oh, yeah. <laughs>